I gotta tell you, night three is so stressful. Especially when you gotta deal with both brick, I mean, both um, Boomer and Butch under the, while hiding under the bed, as well as Blossom. And the teaming is just terrible. Okay, I heard the running the first time, so we can do it now. And we're in part two of the let's play. What? I thought I dealt with you, Buttercup. Okay. As the next genius says, it's official. Buttercup has signed my death warrant. As stated in the next genius's title and one of his videos, Buttercup has officially signed my death warrant in this game. Great, thanks, Buttercup. I guess I'm not gonna trust you in this. I guess I'm gonna start hating you in this game now. <sighs> God, I hate Buttercup so much in this game because she is the most annoying to deal with. I can't even react to her in time sometimes. Okay, heard running that time, so... Once I hear the running the second time, that's when I'll hide. strategy once I hear running for the second time that's when I'll hide if you hear running for the first time that's boomer if you hear the second running that's brick oh god what <sighs> didn't react in time okay great night three is just as hard and stressful as night two because per usual, teaming's terrible. Night two, I had to deal with double teaming from Buttercup and Boomer. Night three, it's quadruple teaming from Blossom, Buttercup, Boomer, and Butch. Brick and Bubbles, though, they're the least of my worries. In fact, I don't think I've ever gotten jump scared by Brick and Bubbles. Brick and Bubbles are actually the only characters I have not been jump scared by because they're the least of my worries. The others I gotta worry about more than Brick and Bubbles because Brick and Bubbles are less of a threat. Boomer, Butch, Buttercup, and Blossom, they're more of a threat. There you go. Got to the bed in time. Yeah, thank you for your introductions. I appreciate that. Ah! 
Jesus, how does... Okay. This is the part that throws me off. Like, the second time around I have to deal with Boomer, Bo Butch, and, Bo Bo and Blossom is when Buttercup strikes. You are so annoying, Buttercup. <sighs> Great. What a nice way to start off a Let's Play after... To start off recording a Let's Play I haven't recorded in a while after getting back from a vacation. And being caught up in other things. <sighs> Great. And to make matters worse, I couldn't even record any of my videos while I was on vacation because the Wi-Fi was so terrible. Great, I'm already getting really frustrated because of Buttercup. Great, I'm so frustrated now. Oh my god. Stupid Buttercup. Oh my god. Why is Buttercup such an issue in Finance of Powerpuff Girls 2? I was having no problems dealing with her in the first game. Like, I don't get why Buttercup is an issue in, in the second game, when in the first game I was having no problems dealing with that. Okay, so the second time, new strategy, the second time around when Boomer and Butch come and Blossom, I will do a Buttercup first before Brick and then Bobbles. Because I can wait to deal with Brick and Bobbles as long as Brick doesn't f emerge as his full animatronic form and come out of the closet and, and Bobbles doesn't go crazy. This doesn't make sense. Like, Buttercup just doesn't make sense in this game. Like, I have no problems dealing with her in the first game. And now in this game, Buttercup gives me just a bunch of issues. Ugh. Buttercup. Buttercup, you are so annoying in this game. 